Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to create our own voice assistant with the help of Google text to speech and speech to text engine but before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends for today's project I have created a repository and a repository name is rpi4 speech text and text to speech okay simple i will mention link you need to simply copy and paste link inside your browser then go to the code copy the link from here and simply we are going to clone our repository so open terminal and run the command like this way git space clone then space and paste the link of our repository which we copy just hit enter it will clone our repository that's it now we have our repository let's just clear screen okay now what we want to do we need some packages okay so run the command like this way cd space we need to go inside our repository so cd space rpi4 and just press tab button it will auto complete our repository name okay cd space rpi4 and press tab button okay just hit enter now we are inside our repository or we can say we are inside our folder and here it is as you can see we have install.sh install.sh this is the bash script for installing a packages so we need to give full permission so run the command like this with ch more space 775 and our bash script name which is install.sh just hit enter so if i run ls command as you can see green color it means we have successfully changed the permission okay so now what we want to do we want to simply run our bash script so run the command like this way bash space and our script name which is install.sh and just hit enter it will automatically install all the packages which we need for speech to text and text to speech project okay as you can see i have already run the script that's why it say requirement is already satisfied because i have already installed all the packages okay so requirement is already satisfied so friends as you can see it's done we have successfully run our script okay and now we have our packages now what we want to do we want to simply open our python script from our tony python id so i have created here a basic code as you can see this is what our basic code test count dot pi okay so what we are going to do we are going to simply open tony python id so let's just open tony python id and go to the file click on open then pi and our repository and this is what our script test count dot pi okay so friends here it is as you can see this is what our basic script okay and we have our modules speech recognition then wikipedia then gtts then import os and from date time import date time okay this is the modules which we are going to use for our project our voice assistant okay then we are going to use here a date time so for that i have created here a variable which is now now is equal to date time dot now it will print a date time okay then we need here text to speech engine okay so for that i have created here a function which basically convert a text into speech simple so def speak is just a function name and inside that we need to mention the object object is basically our text okay so tts is just a variable is equal to our module which is gtts and inside that text is equal to our b because we are going to input our user data okay so this is the object so text is equal to b and language which we are going to use here english so en okay this is the language code simple then tts dot save audio dot mp3 it will convert audio file okay it will basically save the audio file and then it will play the audio file for that we are going to use mpg321 
player okay so we are going to use mpg321 player so this is basically system command so we are going to use os dot system for that we import here import os simple then this is what our speech to text function which basically convert our speech into text okay this is text to speech and this is speech to text simple so speech to text we are going to use google online speech to text module okay so it will basically give us our speech into text format okay simple now while true loop and a is equal to str because we need a string okay so str and speech to text this is what our function this is what our function speech to text and it will print what we speak okay simple so i have connect usb microphone with raspberry pi 4 you can use any usb microphone you need to simply connect the usb microphone with raspberry pi 4 so i have already connect the usb microphone with raspberry pi 4 then you will see here as you can see this is the microphone uh, image or we can say not image basically this is the logo so you need to simply click on here okay then right click okay and here you need to select usb audio device okay so just right click and select usb audio device it will select our usb microphone okay simple now we are ready and we are going to simply run our script okay hello all as you can see it's printed hello all how are you how are you as you can see friends it's printed how are you it means we have successfully convert our speech into text now what we want to do we want to convert our text into speech for that we create a function which is speak function simple so now what we are going to do we are going to ask a question to raspberry pi 4 and with the help of text to speech raspberry pi 4 will be convert a text into speech okay because we have now speech to text module now what we want to do we want to convert text into speech okay simple so what we are going to do let's say if this a is basically our text so we are going to use this a okay so if first if a is equal to a is equal to if it is none like this way if it is none then it will print empty so we want to print just empty like this way okay it will print nothing or we can say it will print empty okay if a is equal to none simple then what we want to do now we want to ask a question so elif what is our first question if a is equal to what is today so if elif a is equal to l is equal to what is what is today elif a is equal to what is today then our raspberry pi 4 will be answer let's create k is just a variable you can mention any variable okay so k is equal to we are going to use now so now is basically our date time dot now okay so now dot strf time so now dot strf time okay so k is equal to now dot strf time and inside that we need to mention today today is okay and percentage capital a it will print today's day means uh, it is tuesday thursday wednesday whatever it is okay so today is m percent capital a then slash okay then slash again m percentage small d for debt okay then uh, here we don't want to mention a, a slash okay so today is m percentage capital a then space m percentage small d then slash okay then we are going to again mention percentage then we need to mention month for m okay then slash again percentage y simple 
so this is the format this is how we need to mention for what is today question this is the format so today is a today is m percentage capital a then m percentage d then slash then m percentage m then m percentage y simple so if we print k okay so now what will be happen when we ask our raspberry pi 4 what is today because we have speech to text module it will convert our speech into text so what is today so a is equal to our text and now when we ask what is today question our raspberry pi 4 will be give us a answer simple so let's say what is today as you can see here today is thursday and this is what today's date simple so now we have our data our question and our data now, now what we want to do we want to convert this text into speech so for that we create here a speak function simple so now what we are going to do we are going to mention like this way speak and inside that we need to pass k this k okay so if i save the code if i run the code what is today today is thursday the 22nd of october 27 and as you can see it's convert this text into speech now what we are going to do we are going to ask another question so this time what we are going to say we are going to say time so we need current time so let's say elif okay let me check it is in line okay it's in line elif a is equal to our question so our question is basically time now time now okay if we ask time now then k1 is just a variable k1 is equal to again now dot strf time and this time we are going to say like this way it's 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 okay so now what we want to do we want to mention a current time format so again m percentage m percentage capital i okay capital i then colon then m percentage minus capital m then we need to mention a space and we need here am or pm so just mention space and m percentage capital p okay it's this will give us hour and this will give us minute and this will give us am or pm okay so simply if we print k1 okay so if i save the code if i run the code time now and as you can see it's 2 35 pm so same way what we are going to do now we are going to simply mention our speak function and inside that we need to pass k1 that's it just save the code and if i run the code time now 2 35 pm what is today today is thursday the 22nd of october 27 so friends as you can see this is how we can create voice assistant with the help of raspberry pi 4 using google speech to text and text to speech engine now what we are going to do we import here a wikipedia function so we are going to ask some wikipedia questions okay so for that else okay uh, check if it is in line so is in line and then else we need to mention a variable so let's say result result is equal to our module which is wikipedia wikipedia okay wikipedia dot summary wikipedia dot summary okay and then inside that we need to pass our a because a is basically our speech to text means a is basically our question 
and then what we want to do we want to say how many uh, sentences we want from wikipedia we want only two sentences information okay so sentences sentences okay like this way sentences is equal to is equal to two that's it sentences is equal to two now what we are going to do we are going to simply print a result and then we are going to ask some wikipedia questions okay so if i start the code what is python As you can see we ask question what is python and with the help of wikipedia we get the answer python is high level general purpose programming language and so on okay now what we want to do we want to simply same thing we are going to convert this text into speech so we are going to mention speak function our speak function and then we are going to simply pass here a result okay that's it if i save the code if i run the code what is raspberry pi raspberry pi is a series of small single board computers sbc's developed in the united kingdom by the raspberry pi foundation in association with broadcom the Raspberry Pi project originally leaned towards the promotion of teaching basic computer science in schools and in developing countries. What is ESP32? What is ESP32? Spanish Pesetas is a series of low cost, low power system on a chip microcontrollers with integrated Wi-Fi and dual mode Bluetooth. The ESP32 series employs either a Tensilica X Tensor LX6 microprocessor in both dual core and single core variations, X Tensor LX7 dual core microprocessor or a single core RISC V microprocessor and includes built in. Antenna switches, RF balance, power amplifier, low noise receive amplifier, filters, and power management modules. So friends, as you can see, this is how you can create your own voice assistant with the help of Raspberry Pi 4. I hope you learned something from this video. We'll meet our next video. Till then, thank you, check and bye-bye.